Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blaze, and we're back with more Besiege. Here we are just going for a leisurely Sunday drive. Or I guess it's Thursday, but whatever. We're in this 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. This thing looks, it's got a little bit of wheel derp as it just kind of sits around. But other than that, once it gets going, it looks pretty legit. This is by Ketz? C-E-T-Z. Either way, the Herbie Mobile over here. Looking slick, very smooth too. I mean like the the overall appearance of the tiles is very smooth. It looks like we are being pursued by would-be scumbags. Bam! Herbie doesn't have time for your bull crap. Now, the speed and the handling on this thing, not really that bad. Uh, it's pretty, I mean, you know, we were talking about supercars before. A little bit slower than that. And, you know, it loves to drift. Watch this. Oh, the Drift King is here, boys. Everyone gets knocked down. Oh, it looks like one man still has his spleen left intact. You, sir, need to go down to Chinatown right up in there. There's a few other... It... What the hell just... What is going on? Random buildings are exploding. We have nothing to do with this. I did not do that. I'm not paying for your random buildings. My insurance doesn't need to cover that. Out of the way, ho. Either way, the Herbie Mobile does very, very well. I'd like to see if it can get some air... I don't, I don't think it goes quite that fast that it will go flying randomly through the, uh, through the stratosphere. Let's check it out. Ah, uh, yeah, it gets a little bit now and again, but it's really not that crazy. We'll go ahead and just kind of bring it over here just because old Gray feels like it. And you know what it's time for. It's time for a beating. So why don't you deal with it, Herbie? And we got blasted straight through the, the freaking environment. That's what I like to see. All right, you boys want something faster. No problem. This is by Brammer001. I can't pronounce that. Is that the ko seg agera Oh my god, I should have looked this up online before I even tried to say it. Either way, let me load this thing up because this thing looks freaking sweet. And I'm all about the speedy cars, man. Oh yeah. Alright, now, the Volkswagen bug was cool, but I, I can't, I can't hate on a good looking freaking super sports car here. This this looks fantastic. I love it so much. All right, so now the question is, how well does it drive? Now, supposedly you can get some big top speed out of this by just driving around and then also using, hold on here, and then also using the right shift button. Let's give it a shot. All right, boys, let's freaking do this. Take it to the limit. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Well, we didn't get very far, did we? Oh, hold on, we, I can save this. I can, no, I can't save this. Oh, my wheel is like doing kind of some fancy jigs right there. All right, I've got a tree stuck in me, but we got the freaking turbo booster going here. There we go, the tree's gone. Let's see how fast we can get the thing to go. Come on, baby. Oh, that's it. That was our, that was the majority of our boost. We got a secondary booster here. Oh, God. <laughs> so, let's take a moment. Let's take a moment, folks, to look at the, uh, hold on here, to look at the beautiful innards. The inside of this lovely, lovely vehicle here. Uh, it's got the jet on the back. I kind of like that. This is very, very drifty. It slides all over the place. I got to tell you, man, I'm so spoiled with that, uh, that Draconis or whatever. I think that was the name of it. That was such a good car. In fact, hold on. Let's, I gotta, I gotta find it real quick because I have to show you that one again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring it out or anything. We did that last episode. But it was so good when it came to the handling. I'm like very, very, uh, there it is, the Draconis. This thing is so fantastic when it comes to handling. All right, life wouldn't get, be complete unless we blew something up. So this is the Antimatter Missile Launcher by Neon. It has the word antimatter in it, so it has to be cool, right? There's a couple of things that you have to do in order to launch the missiles. I haven't messed with this yet. So it's kind of like a hovercraft. Now what we can do here, we got our missile cam right over. I think this is our missile cam. So it says hit one. Whoa! That didn't work. Ah, ah, oh, what's happening? Ah, what sort of strange poltergeist? Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on anymore, boys. All right, let's try that again. What a strange bird this thing is. Okay, I think I have an idea of how to use this. So you fire the missile with the old one key. I think I should have held it down a little bit longer, but whatever. Oh god. Oh, why is it why is it starting to float? Okay, good. So it's sitting over there, and then we hit the three key to activate. Whoa! 
to activate the attraction. I don't know if you hold it down or what in the hell? Things are blowing up like randomly around us. This is the oddest thing. All right, hold on. All right, go back over here to the scumbags. Fire the missile. All right, there we go. Now we just kind of leave it there. Now we go away. And it's starting to come toward me. Whoa! Whoa, my God. Okay, uh, we need to do that in the middle. We need to get this done in the middle of the encampment. Hold on. Let me move way up here. And then we're going to fire it. There we go. Okay. Now, everyone's very sad about what just happened. And then, see that? It, like, it like wants to attract itself back. It's weird. It's like, and then that insanity happens when you press the attraction button. All right, let's try this with the missile cam. Hold on, let me go over here to our, our poor peasants. The peasants are always fantastic test subject. Fire over there. All right, you move the critter back. And then, see, right there, it starts to, like, go kind of wonky and crazy and whatnot. So now... Hold on. What happens if I move us over by the bad guys? Oh, this is an interesting way to control a thing. It's weird. It's like this weird... There we go. Okay. So now we're way back over here. Now hit the attraction button. Whoa! Yes, it just kind of like... It kind of randomly... What in the hell? What is... What in the hell happened over there? So many random things are blowing up. All right, I've got things way slowed down. Maybe we can see exactly what happens here with this keep. You go ahead and get out of the way. There goes the bodies. The bodies are starting to hit the floor. Fire the missiles! Yes, excellent job. All right, so now we're pretty far away from the missile. Oh, God! Oh, there's people inside. I think there was people inside. There goes the rest of our, uh... There goes the rest of our mobile right there. I don't know what... Man, this thing is so crazy. The way this thing works is so trippy. All right, so hold on here. Fire, there we go. It gets blown, and then we, there we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, it's sucking us in as well. Oh, happy day though, I finally figured it out. You gotta be pretty quick on the uptake, and that's kinda how it works. Okay, so fire, boom, and then before like the insanity, there we go. There now the only problem is like the camera is whoa, whoa hey. I don't I don't know what okay the camera just decided to follow whatever it wanted to follow. What crap! Alright, let's go ahead and use the missile camera here. We're gonna go ahead and fire it. There we go. And now let's use its powers of greatness. There's the body parts I like to see. Oh, we're stacked with skeletons now. Oh, this is a horrible, horrible creation. I love it. Okay, now that I understand how to use this horrid being. Oh, it's so good. All right. How many men can we kill with it? Hold on here. Let's go ahead and turn on the uh, the old view. All right. Fire. Right there. That was instantaneous sadness. And there we go. Everything's coming inside of this thing. There's trees and bodies and I don't even know. I don't think we managed to kill everyone, but that was a freaking ton of death. Let's try a different camera angle. All right. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to let everyone kind of come in here. Then we're going to fire it. There we go. And now we're going to activate it. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, the bodies. The bodies are flying now, baby. There is much, much blood and ass and everything else. And we are teleporting way far away from the rest of the battlefield. Hold on here. Let's go take a look at the havoc that has been caused at the hands of the anti, the anti-matter missile launcher. I think it did a pretty good job. One last time from the view of the King's men, we got it super slowed. It's kind of cool. It, whoa, it like skied along. That's amazing. There we go. There's all the sadness happening. Oh, look at them all get dragged back into it. Look at them all getting dragged back into it. There we go, baby. Ooh. Even our uh, even our tank got dragged in. Yes, the bodies, the pieces, the trees. Look at them all flying just randomly. Okay. This this went this went from like a 4 to a 10. I can't stop. I can't stop. All right. Hold on, let me go ahead and back away, back away, back away, back away, back away. I want to get far enough away to where my creature doesn't die. There we go. 
That's interesting. Like, a lot of the critters get moved into it. Yeah, see, every once in a while, it flies back to our machine. Actually, you know what? I'll, screw it. I'm going to sacrifice the machine as well. I think that if we get this thing right in the heart here. Hold on. And then start it up. There we go. There we go. This is what it looks like, boys. This is what the, the force field. Oh, the blood. The, the, the giant blood pool was just levitating through the air. Where are you archers firing at? How are you still battling? It is raining the organs of your good buddies from the sky. How can anyone deal with this? See that way back here? Hold on. Look at this way back here in the distance. There is trees and pieces of machine, and I'm pretty sure there's bodies as well. Yes. There is definitely bodies hitting the floor down here. I'm actually really curious what it's going to do to this tower because of the distance. Like, I don't... What the hell? Okay, don't get hit by the arrows. Okay, great. Just... All right, go over here. Fire this thing. There we go. And now let's light them up, boys. All right, all the trees are going flying. All the bodies are getting pulled out of the tower. But the tower itself remained completely untouched. How about if we go for this side of the tower? Because I know we can bust up this side of the tower. Like, throw it right there. And if you do it, I, I assume it'll grab all the bricks and kind of... Yeah, it grabs the bricks and it, it creates this giant kind of container of pummeling sadness. Welcome to the Bulldozer by Blasted Off. This bulldozer is so epic, it only needs one L. This thing is insane. Look at it. It's got like a bunch of friggin' drills on the front. Oh, Lord. And you can toggle which way they spin, too, for maximum sadness. So, oh, oh, it drives a little wonky. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Set the flames off, boys. Set the flames off, because we're going bulldozing today. Look at the big-ass tires on this thing. Hold on. I need to, we need to see this from the perspective of the scumbags. Go ahead, bulldozer. Teach them what time it is. That's what time it is. Oh, it's bulldozy time. It is bulldozy time. You know what? It's actually not that horrifying. You would think that the death and sadness visited upon the king's men would be much, much worse, but it's really not that, okay, I stand corrected, that guy got absolutely destroyed. It's really not as bad as you'd think. Um, I think getting run over by the giant ass tires might be a little bit worse. Where's the other encampment? Yeah, let's go over here to the plebeian area. We're gonna go check these guys out. It's very difficult to turn. Um, oh, I just ran over a sheep. Very difficult to turn for the most part. Now, it definitely bulldozes. If you want demolition, this thing is, like, amazingly large, too. If you want straight-up demolition, this is definitely the creature to have with you. As a matter of fact, we may need to bring this to the King's Tower over there because I think it would do fairly well. Now, I believe this thing also has, like, some shockwaves and flamethrowers and stuff, too, just because. Uh, let's see here. I think that we... Oh, what the hell was that? It was like a, a chunk of something just went flying out of whatever. Now, I think we've got, there we go. We've got the old flamethrower right around here. If you just want to go ahead and toastify everyone around you. And then we, okay. I didn't mean to do that. The meat grinder has come for your soul. Into the meat grinder, sucker. You can pick these guys up. I love how you can just grab the little bodies if you want to. And then, blah, right into the side of the grinder. Again, it's not actually that crazy. You would, you would think there'd be a lot more uh, intestinal tracks flying around kind of rampantly. Let's go ahead and kind of aim this thing up right over here. Everyone's going to get the opportunity to meet the bulldozer up close and personal, boys. Don't you worry. Hold on now. Hold on now. Let me go ahead and pick you. There we go. Now that... Oh, hold on. Oh! Oh, I found the horror. It's like playing Plinko. But with a human body and a bunch of spinning drills, this is absolutely dreadful, but it's everything I hoped it would be. This guy is about to wish he never walked up to the bulldozer. Get up in there, you scumbag. Oh, I missed you. Hold on. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to leave you. Oh, no. Oh, from underneath. Oh, it's horrible. Up and down, up and down. It's like Mr. Miyagi always said, guys. Paint the fence. Paint the fence. That's how you do it. Up, down, up, down. Those ancient Chinese secrets right up in here. This is how you take care 
of the enemy army. All right, I don't need you anymore. Anyway, the bulldozer definitely looks sweet. If you saw this coming at you, your, your, your pants are probably going to turn a lovely shade of brown because the friggin' drills on this thing look legit. It would be cool if, like, you could flop the bulldozer portion down. I don't think that you can. There didn't seem to be any toggles for it. And like any glorious creation, after it has overstayed its welcome, hold on, let me turn on the drill bits here. We have to go right into the middle of the encampment and then, of course, spontaneously detonate. Because why not? Why not? This tank is made by someone whose name I cannot pronounce because it's a bunch of, uh, like, characters. Like, kind of, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's Chinese or what, but either way, though, look at this freaking tank. This looks good. I love the gun on this thing, too, man. It looks freaking great. Hold on here. Let's see if we can get going a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is everything I ever wanted in a tank. Oh, it looks so good, too. You can kind of slow down, I think, with the, uh, with the G button if you want to. And then the, it's weird because... The forward button is just T, and that kind of, like, get, keeps you going forward no matter what. We've got a couple of other cameras over here as well. Yes! There's the gun camera right over there. Hold on. Turret with the, uh, your regular arrow buttons here. Hold on. We gotta align on up a shot. All right, Lord Farquad, you gotta deal with it today, buddy. The tank is out in full force. Fire! I think we missed. All right. Unlimited ammo's on. Well, actually, you know what? First things first. Let's do a little, uh, hold on. Let's do a little tankly destruction over here. Roll on up, if you know what I mean, boys. Oh, whoa! All right, I didn't expect that from the tank. You would think the tank would be a little bit more, uh, bottom heavy. It's still going! How is this happening? Fire the cannon tank! Fi All right, it, oh, no. Okay, now things are just spontaneously blowing up. I, we just killed someone. I have no idea how, but someone died on this day. There is a pool of blood laying right there in the middle of the breakdancing tank. All right, one more time. Let me try this again. Now, I don't know what the arc is on this. It kind of wobbles a little bit, too. How about right there? That is way high. I put down, I put on infinite ammo. Yeah! Friggin' got him! Wow, this the, the targeting on this thing is actually really, really good. Hold on. So, right about there. Okay, that was way high. Right about there. Oh, man, I thought that was good. Come on, get him. Yeah! Now we're getting there. Okay, so you definitely have to aim a little bit low. So right about here should take out that windmill. Nice shot! All right, we got another windmill over here. We'll aim a little bit lower right about here probably. Yes! Oh, wow, this, this is... Man, this tank... No! <laughs> we hit a, one single person with a tank shot. I feel like that's probably a little bit of overkill. Ooh, can we take out their encampment from here? Let's aim this right about there. Nope, a little bit high. Hold on, right about there. There we go. Yeah, you boys should have known. You boys should have known long ago. Rolling on up to the bad guy encampment over here. I will say, too, the, uh, the friggin' suspension on this thing is great. Bam! Right in the chicklets. Eat it! Eat it, you scumbag! Oh crap! Oh, this is bad. Hold on. There's a couple of guys that have uh, have gotten have gotten into our our cannon here. Don't worry though. We have a reverse though, boys. We have a reverse. We're gonna be just fine. Uh, right about there. There we go. Took his legs right out. And <laughs> that dude just went hyper freaking hyperspace. He is totally gone. I don't know where he went, but his body just accelerated at about a million miles per hour. And last but not least, we have the Air Submarine by Black Knight. Yes, it is a legitimate Air Submarine. Fully controllable, hovers up and down with the page up and down key. We also have the uh, forward, back, left, and right arrows to kind of drive it around. Drives pretty good for a weird like reactor driven floating submarine of power now a submarine wouldn't be a submarine unless it had torpedoes on it so we do have torpedoes here we can there you go cue to open up the torpedo bays and we have a couple of views here as well 
Uh, we can fire these torpedo torpedoes, I think, with one and two. I don't know what happens when they get... Oh, God. All right. Well, bye, torpedo. Uh, so the torpedo just went flying. I don't know if it's going to blow up at some point or... Oh, it's just going to levitate. Just going to levitate into the sky. Bye, torpedo. Very interesting. There's torpedo number two. Torpedo number two. Enjoy... Okay, Tor torpedo number one is flying. Like, it is absolutely gone. I don't know where it's going. It's it's going on vacation or something like that. I hate to... I don't even know where Torpedo 2 went either. Sometimes you gotta get your submarine down low. Low! Like this right here. All right. Let's go ahead and open up the torpedo base. Fire the torpedo, damn it! Yeah, crap. We're a little bit high. All right, let's go ahead and drop down a little bit more. This this has got to do it right. This has got to do it right here. Fire the torpedo! Yes! Yeah! Oh, I think we took someone out, too. That was weird. The torpedo didn't explode. It was just like a... Wow. It was just like a flying fist. It just basically punched someone in the face in order to kill them. All right, we're going to beat the bad guys this time. Hold on. Now, there is, a, there is like a heat-seeking function on the missiles, on the torpedoes, but the only problem is they, they go for vehicles. Um, so, hold on here. Let me go ahead and open up the torpedo bay again here. Now, we're kind of tilting a little bit. See that right there, how we're kind of tilting up? Hold on. Let me see if I can move us forward a little bit here and kind of tilt it down and then double fire the torpedoes. Two torpedoes at once. There we go. Yeah, the torpedoes act like just giant fists of anguish. They just go flying at anything that's in their way, and they just punch them out of the... What the hell was that? What the hell was that? What is going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hi there, random explosions. Don't know where you came from. Don't know where you've been. I have no idea what the hell just happened. Now, we can blow up our own submarine. If we open up the bay, and then we fire the missiles, and we immediately press three and four, that'll activate... There it is! I was gonna say, that'll activate the guidance heads. Did you see how they friggin' whipped around and took out part of the sub? You're in your encampment. It's been a good day when all of a sudden, a thing in the horizon opens up its giant blast doors. Look at it slowly meandering forward. What do you do? How do you deal with this? Fire the torpedo! There we go. That was an explosion for once. Fire the secondary torpedo. Yes. Now we've... Cr okay. These torpedoes and they're... Whoa, the torpedoes just came flying at us like a friggin' boomerang. That was awesome. Oh, holy crap. That's cool. So it really does heat seek other... It, does, it doesn't work all the time, it looks like. Sometimes it heat seeks like... Not appropriately to the vehicle, but sometimes it works perfectly. Hold on here. I got to try this one more time. All right, so weigh anchor with P. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit here. Go ahead and go down with the, uh, the page down button. Open up the blast doors. Fire the torpedoes. And, like, now I'm going to hit it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, like, every once in a while, it's like... I don't know what happens. These torpedoes are the oddest creatures I've ever seen when it comes to damage. Anyway, some really cool creations as always. I'm always enjoying... I'm always enjoying this game. I love this game so much. Just the stuff people come up with is just absolutely gorgeous and awesome. Anyway, folks, hope you're enjoying Besiege. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>